Welcome to MGF 1107 online. You'll need to take time this week to become familiar with our course, My Courses Course Materials. Let's explore the My Courses course. From the course homepage, you have several options from the top toolbar. We'll start by clicking on Course Home. I will post weekly reminders and important messages here. Upcoming events can also are also shown on the course home. Click on course content. On the course content page, you will see the syllabus at the top. Click on table of contents. Notice you can use this expand all collapse all option on the right to reveal or hide items in each module. On the table of contents on the left toolbar, you'll see a link to email instructor. After you click on this link, click two more times and you'll see this window. Please add a subject to your message so I have an idea of what you're emailing about. This is the email you should use to contact me. Do not use my college email. Your message can get caught in the college's spam filter and I may not see it for several days. The next item on the table of contents is a link to an Ask a Question form. Use this form to post questions about the course, interact with other students, etc. Review the syllabus paying attention to the course tools, course grading, active participation, proctored midterm and final. There is a detailed schedule week by week included in the syllabus that shows the material to be covered each week, the homework, tests, and their due dates chapter discussions and their due dates and test dates. Let's look at the Begin Here module. Meet your instructor links to my instructor homepage at the college. The syllabus is also included here. The Welcome to MGF 1107 online handout is included along with the link to the welcome video. There's information about proctored testing. The syllabus quiz is required. You must earn 100% on one attempt to unlock the unit discussions which are part of your course grade. You have unlimited attempts on this quiz. The first discussion is located here. Class Introduction. The My Math Lab Materials module contains information on how to get registered for our course. The My Courses tutorials include information about the various features of My Courses. Returning to the table of contents, the Weekly Chat Sessions module will contain links to our weekly chats. Our first chat, our chats will be on Mondays from 11 a.m. to 12 noon. The first chat will take place on Monday, January 11th. The chats are not required, but if you can attend, I think you will find them very helpful. The chats are recorded, so if you cannot attend, use the same link to access the recording. Click on this link to access. I will also post the materials to be covered in the chat before the actual chat begins. You can print this out to use during the chat. The next item on the table of contents is the analysis of test answers. After each test due date, I will post an analysis of the test questions in this module. This course is organized in units. There are six content units and also a proctored midterm and proctored final exam modules. As we start the course, you will see materials for units one and two. Some units cap co cover one chapter and some cover material from several chapters. Unit 1 is shown here. Each unit module has the same structure. There is an assignment checklist and then each module is organized as shown here. Section notes, associated materials, discussion topic. My courses keeps track of what you have access. Notice the check mark to the right. If the check mark is not there, you have not accessed that item. Each unit contains one or more discussions. You must complete the syllabus quiz with a score of 100% to gain access to the discussions. The discussion for Unit 1 is shown here. Notice the instructions include the grading criteria for the postings. Returning to the top toolbar, click on Calendar. 
The due dates for course assignments are shown on the calendar along with other important dates, proctor testing, last day to withdraw, etc. Returning to the top toolbar, click on Submission Review. Notice you can access discussions and quizzes from this drop-down menu. We are not using drop boxes in this course and the only quiz is a syllabus quiz. You can access discussions from this drop-down menu, but it is better to access those through the unit module. The weekly schedule in the syllabus on the last page lists each discussion and the unit module in which it resides. From the top toolbar, click on Communicate and you will see several options. You can access email from this drop-down. We won't be using the chat or groups option. When you access email, you'll be able to read and compose messages. I suggest that you use the email instructor link on the table of contents to email me. It's much easier to use. On the top toolbar, click on Grades and you'll be able to see your grades. Now for this course, this is critical. Be sure you purchase the My Math Lab Access Kit. You will access My Math Lab from our My Courses homepage. Please review the materials in the My Math Lab materials located in the begin here. And from our course homepage, you will click on this window to access My Math Lab. The first time you click on it, you will register, and then after that, you'll be automatically taken to my Math Lab. Uh, from this screen, this option here will take you to the assignments. This option here will take you to the full My Math Lab course, which includes the e-text and also access to your gradebook. So let's click on this one. So when you use this option, you'll see a course home with a calendar up here, and then on the left toolbar, you can navigate. You can go to the chapter contents. This will take you to the ebook. So, for instance, if we go to chapter 1, section 1.1, you'll notice here you can watch the video. You can go to the e-text. And the videos that are here are also linked on the assignment page, on the homework page, so you don't have to go searching for those. Um, the videos are not required, but many students find these very helpful. Notice the green flags next to some assignments next to the due date. Each of these assignments have requirements that must be met before the assignment is available. For example, before you can access sections 1.1, 5.8, and 10.3 homework, you must complete this required introduction to My Math Lab. Likewise, for tests, you must complete the related homework with a 60% grade in order to access that particular test. You'll have unlimited attempts on the My Math Lab homework, and you can access the homework even after the due date passes if you have accessed it at least once before the due date. To access after the due date, use the link to the gradebook, and then click to select the review option. Each homework problem has several learning aids available. And if I go to this homework from section 6.5, and the learning aids will be shown to the right-hand side. There's an Ask My Instructor option that will send me an email with the exact problem you're working on. It's helpful if you give me some information about what you're having trouble with. Note, there are no learning aids available on the test. The unit tests in my math lab are based on pools of questions, so you may not gain, get the same questions on each attempt. You will have three attempts for each test, and your highest score will be used. This course has a proctored midterm and final exam. They're given at Clearwater, Seminole, St. Pete, Gibbs, and Tarpon campuses. You, mu you can choose whatever campus is most convenient. You must make an appointment for your exam. And here is the link to the Reservation Center. If you live out of the area, you must identify a proctor that will be approved by the eCampus office. The information about identifying a proctor is included in the syllabus. This task must be completed during the first week of class. Here is a link to the proctor, proctor testing website. In order to be successful in this course, you must keep up with the weekly assignments. I recommend printing out the weekly schedule in the syllabus last page and checking off each activity as you complete it. I do not extend due dates, Monday night at 11 p.m. for tests 
homework, discussion topics unless there is an issue with my courses or my math lab. Please print out the weekly schedule and the syllabus so you can keep track of the assignments. Please contact me by course email if you have any questions. I look forward to working with the class and I hope you enjoy our course.